Okay, we are going to be making a baked penne and I have the water on high and we're going to salt the boiling water. I'm going to pour 16 ounces of penne regate. I'm going to pour that into the salted boiling water. We're going to cook this according to directions on the back of the box or I'm going to use the one in the packet. We don't want to overcook the pasta or else the pasta will be mushed. So I'm going to stir this around. I'm going to cook this to uncover. Making sure to read that directions below. I want to get it all dente on this pasta. We have the pasta just cooked at all dente. Now we're going to go on for the meat sauce and I always preheat the oven for 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to make sure the oven is nice and hot. You're going to take about 9 by 13 inch baking pan. You're going to overlap it with aluminum foil to line with and spray it with non-stick cooking spray. I'm just going to set this aside. Now in this other for the big pot that we're doing for the meat sauce, I turn it on high, just going to make it well. I'm going to pour 3 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now I already peeled 4 cloves of minced or pressed garlic. Then we're going to put it into that. The oil is being nice and hot. Now I already peeled and slightly chopped 1 medium. I'm using about yellow onions. And you just want to saute the garlic and onions so it gets nice and softened. It took about like 5 or 7 minutes or so. You want to make sure to keep moving around the garlic and onion. The garlic and the onion has been already translucent. That's about after 5 or 7 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add 1 pound of lean ground beef. And you want to break it around the ground beef. You just want to make sure to grind over it. The beef is just almost getting brown together. Now you're going to add your dry herbs. I have one tablespoon of parsley flakes, one teaspoon of dry basil, one teaspoon of dry oregano, and a half teaspoon of dry tarragon. I'm going to put it right in that. It has been already sauteed with the garlic, onions, and beef. Just keep moving around. We'll put it inside with the garlic, onion, and beef. I'm going to pour this jar. I have a 24 ounce jar that I'm going to be using a ragu old world style traditional made with olive oil they're going to put it into the pasta sauce put that in and look at that one don't forget to transfer on low heat after it's high now to get that off of the pasta sauce out of the jar what I like to do I'm going to use the ladle of the pasta water just a little bit but not that much just give that a little swirl because I don't want to waste out all the pasta sauce back in and just gonna keep stirring all around I'm going to sprinkle a half teaspoon of kosher salt and some ground black pepper of course to taste okay make sure it season really well just keep stirring around and look at all those meat sauce. Now you can go ahead and add your cooked pasta it has been drained over. Let's put it right in the meat sauce and just stir this around. Pasta might be coated inside with the meat sauce. There you go. All nice and coated. You can go ahead to remove from the heat and we're going to set this for momentarily. And we're going to move on for the layer of the two cheeses with the ricotta and parmesan. To make the layer of the two cheeses with the ricotta and parmesan, let's go into a large bowl. I have one large egg. Make sure it's room temperature. We're going to beat that really quick. I have 15 ounce tub of poly all original ricotta cheese. I'm also going to sprinkle a fourth cup of grated parmesan cheese and one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I'm just going to stir all the way around. And that's how you make for only of the ricotta and parmesan layer. 
looks just perfect and we're going to assemble. You're going to ladle those pate with the beef sauce. I'm going to do it by half and I'm going to see how many I do. I'm going to spill all over onto the stove. Just want to be careful with that. Just going to make it sure even layer. I just lay it by half and I use a ladle that might be easy to scoop it into this. Doesn't want to get any spill over. Half a layer of the pasta with the meat sauce. And now let's go with, with the ricotta and parmesan. Just want to make sure to spread that over very carefully. I'm going to use the one with rubber, rubber spatula. And, sorry about my blabbering. <laughs> I'm going to spread that even layer. Okay, see that? Just like, like you're making lasagna. It has with the ricotta and parmesan. Let's finish the rest of the pasta with the meat sauce. Once again, I'm gonna go with on the ladle. Don't want to spill all over. Just want to get that spread it all over, right under the layer with the ricotta and parmesan. One last ingredient, we're going to sprinkle with some shredded mozzarella cheese. It says to use 8 ounce packages, what that recipe says. We're going to see how the mozzarella cheese is going to be melted down. And probably that works for me, it's only about 8 ounce packages of shredded mozzarella cheese. Of course, I'm just going to dump that rest. Just a little more cheese is then probably a bit. Just finish layer that. You want to cover tightly with more sheets of aluminum foil. Make sure it's nice and sealed tight to cover that. Don't want to burn all the way on top. And you want to pull a vent just to make a hole that allows to steam easy with a pair knife. Alright, that goes in the oven has been preheated for 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to bake this for 25 minutes until the cheeses will melt it on top. I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks. It just baked after 25 minutes and 400 degrees. So let's take it out of the oven. All comes the steams out here. Remove the cover of the foil. Oh, look at that. Panay just sticking over on top of the foil and the cheese is gonna stick in here too. Now I just put it back after just sticking with the foil it has been already covered that that I lost the steam. Once you put it on your wire ready that you can go ahead to keep it hot or warm or you could give that a little rest for a while just a momentarily or actually by the way you can easily serve it hot or warm that you want to enjoy for a nice beautiful pasta dishes. I like to give that for the presentation to serve one of myself I'm going to have something to dig in. You can see that all the has been layered with the uh, penne. And here you go. Here's the finish of perfectly baked penne. You're going to love those for the Italian dishes. If you're interested for more recipes, write down in the comments below if you want to say something. Always have to make sure to view always watch for chains. Always going to give a big thumbs up for everyone. As always, bon appetit. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Worldwide Campus News and Entertainment. Then ring the bell to see all notifications about the new videos and the latest video.